Hey, hey, welcome back to our channel. I am going to do a full dip powder application uh, video today. This is from prepping your nails to dipping and filing and gel and cuticle oil and everything. So it is kind of a long video, bear with me. Skip around, sit down, get a cup of coffee, whatever you like, watch for a while, watch only for a bit whatever you've got time for. So I'm going to start first with pushing back my cuticles. That is my glass cuticle pusher. I feel like it is absolutely necessary to prep your nails. Um, I really had trouble with my nails lifting by the cuticle for a long time, probably, I don't know, seven, eight, nine months, somewhere in there until I got a cuticle pusher and a cuticle bit for my drill. I really feel like those two things made a huge difference with my nails not lifting, not popping off, not wanting to rip off or kind of bend at that area. So what I do is I go ahead and scrape off all that invisible cuticle. You can see there's a lot of gunk there. I think some of it's, you know, probably acetone residue residue as well, um, but some of it is definitely invisible cuticle. I did a video previously on how to remove dip powder, um, so you can go check that out. I will link it in the description. Um, in this video, I am going to dip with the custom powder that I made. It's like a mauve plum kind of color. I am doing a giveaway for that, so if you would like to enter, you can go ahead and see the other one about mixing it, and I can link that in the description as well. So I pushed everything back, and this is my cuticle bit that I have for my drill. If you feel like you're going to get into home dipping for yourself and you're really going to stick with it, I would definitely recommend this cuticle bit. Um, it really like I said, it was a game changer for me and prepping my nails and getting everything to adhere and for getting that cuticle really nice and pushed back and clean. I feel like it is absolutely necessary to have. So I do that on all my nails, of course, and I think I do a little bit of shaping here as well. So you can watch me do that and chill out for a bit. I just wanted to mention that I do clip off any of that dead skin there. It is nothing alive. I can't feel any of it. It is simply just excess cuticle that needs to be, you know, removed and gone. It's all dead. So I do use just regular nail clippers. I don't use the, the cuticle nippers. I felt like they were too rough and I cut myself a couple times. So I don't use those anymore. I only do this... Um, it's kind of got like a bevel at the at the end there. Um, I use those nail clippers to get any of that cuticle. And I will just brush off the excess and use my file to shape up my nails a little bit. And lastly, to prep the nails, you want to use a dehydrator of some sort. This is my triple vitamin keratin bond. Essentially, it just removes all the excess oils 
that might be on your nail plate. So it takes any of that off. And this one says it has keratin in it, might have you know a couple vitamins or something like that to kind of keep your nails healthy. You can make your own dehydrator. You can do a combination of acetone and alcohol. So I've prepped them and I will move on to my custom plum color. Really, really nice um, plum color. It kind of reminds me of Revel's Truth, but just a little more on the purple side. Again, I like all those mauve colors. This one, um, I will say, I've been wearing it for a couple days now that I've had um, this video um, done, and I mixed it with a Mia Secret acrylic, white acrylic powder. Really, really strong, no chips. I really flung my hand into the refrigerator door the other day. My nails are even actually sore still right now, like three or four days later. And these babies did not crack, did not chip, nothing. So that Mia Secret White is really, really holding up well. So if you want to make your own powders, I would recommend that one. It's a good one. So I will use my Dip Delicious base and I will do the pour over method because again, I don't have quite enough powder to stick my whole thumb in there. So I will just dip as usual, and I think I do three coats of this, so you can just watch me do that. Oh, before I go, I do, um, I, I did one other video where I basically just did a full dip right from the start. I didn't do a half or three quarters, anything like that, and I did feel like I had a little bit extra um, thickness at my cuticle so I wasn't a huge fan of that granted I did have a layer of glitter over so it was a little bit thicker um, but I do like to do I think I'm, I'm gonna go back I always try things kind of you know, change it up see what I like the best um, I think I am gonna go back to doing the one strip um, I hate to call it a strip but you know the one um, you know kind of dip um, not a full coat you know on that first layer um, and then kind of move up towards the cuticle um, here I think I can't remember if I did it on the thumb maybe I didn't um, but I think I'm going to try doing something new here as well um, once I do the dip really really close to the cuticle I'm going to try to push the cuticle back just a little bit just to make sure I'm close enough to the cuticle so it might be uh, a helpful tip just to get a really really uh, clean cuticle line so stay tuned. All right, and with this manicure, I am doing primarily the lay-in method. I know my thumb, I'm doing the pour over, but I like the lay-in method. It keeps your dip layers really thin, not too bumpy. I like that for also not squishing the base around your finger. Sometimes when you dip in, the base can kind of shift and it can flood your cuticle. So. The lay-in method is really nice, uh, you know, for that, for keeping your layers thin as well.
Okay, so I have done three coats of that purpley plum color, and now I'm going to do two accent nails with Kira Sky's Winter Wonderland. This is a really nice, fine shimmer uh, for your nails. If you want to do a little bit of an accent, it doesn't change the color really too much, and it is not thick or chunky like a you know a chunkier glitter so it's really nice to just do a little bit of an accent nail or if you want to do all of them i just didn't want to use like bubbly or margo or anything like that that might change the color of this darker dip so this kind of has a more clear base so i wanted to use that one for the sparkle so i will go ahead and dip my middle and my ring in winter wonderland and I don't know how y'all feel about tapping off over your jar when you have such a dark color underneath. I'm always afraid that some of the darker color is going to tap off into my glitter like this or if it's my clear, anything like that. So I, I'm hesitant to necessarily knock off all the, the extra back into the darks. I don't want that dark uh, purple, you know, getting back in there so i always take my finger out and i just you know um put it over the over the cap and get all the excess off there So it's literally just glitter everywhere. You know, it gets everywhere. If you use your brush to brush off your glitter, don't go back on your solid color. I did that on my thumb and there was just glitter all over the place. So definitely don't do that. This application was pretty smooth with the Mia Secret. So I don't think I'm gonna have to do a whole lot of buffing, which is definitely exciting it's kind of like the worst part of having to do all your manis is taking the time for all that buffing so this one was pretty smooth i was pretty happy with it
And as always, I am using my fine sanding band. The Arbor band is the brown one. Again, this one is really well loved. So I am going over the entire nail and I will get by the cuticle. This does not hurt at all. It's not going to nick me, make me bleed, anything like that. It's just really, really smooth. I like that, again, I didn't have to buff a whole lot with this Mia Secret. So this would be a good opportunity to just use a hand file, a hand buffer, if that's what you have at home. This is definitely not uh, a chunky application that you really need your e-file to save you a ton of time. You could definitely do this with a hand file, just the same, and you would get you know, really good results. So I will go ahead and file these nails. And while I'm, you know, doing my filing here, I did just want to mention that when I do around my cuticles, I noticed on my own videos that I don't often use a dotting tool or a toothpick or anything like that. But when I do other people's nails, I do it almost always. And I'm not sure why. I don't know if I feel like I have better control or I can see my own hand better and I don't need it or I care about other people's nails more than I care about mine. I don't know. But I, I did notice that I was doing some friends nails recently and I went right for the dotting tool. I had to have it to make sure I was doing my friends nails really well. Uh, maybe I'm just more comfortable doing my own and I know I'm going to take them off in a week so it doesn't really matter if... You know, I have a bad cuticle, you know, line or application or anything like that. Who knows? But you will see that uh, I don't, I don't use the, the dotting tool too often. So go figure. Alright, so I'm going to go in here and do my gel top coat as always. When you are applying a gel top coat, make sure you cap all your free edges. So on that almond nail, it's pretty much all the way up the sides and on the tip, that's what she said. So you will apply that to all your nails and that glitter really comes alive. Looks all sparkly and nice instead of dull and powdery. So you will do that on all your nails here. And when I do that gel top coat, I don't take the brush and put it 
right by my cuticle to start. You want you know a decent little dollop of gel on your brush and kind of put it in the middle of your nail and just start working it backwards so again it's not too thick by the cuticle it's not going to want to pull up or peel up or anything there so i did a full cure i did 60 seconds there and then i will do my cuticle oil as always and that will about wrap up the mani so if you guys like the video take your pretty dip powder nails hit the like button hit the subscribe button and we will see you guys next time bye wow.